Hello and God bless everybody. Thank you for joining in. Hopefully everybody is okay. God bless you. God bless your families. Hello Abdul Haliga, Fishbones, Malaysian Prophet, Tamara, Joe P, Red Prophet, Malaysian Prophet, Butrus, our friend from Discord. Living for Christ. If I forgot to mention anybody's name, please forgive me. God bless you. Thank you for joining in, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the premiere of our brother David Wood. Uh, I wanted to go live earlier, but someone told me that David Wood would premiere. And out of respect for our dear brother David Wood, we postponed our live show. So, Lord willing, we will have an amazing show now. Uh, I heard that David Wood was uh, finished, so I immediately... Um, Put the live show on again so we can have a nice live show, guys. Before we start, guys, let us pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we will be guided in today's live show. Pray with me in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Lord, please forgive our daily sins and guide us to forgive others who might curse us or persecute us because we are followers of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ. Please, Lord, give us the courage and wisdom today to overcome lies, taqiyya, and deception. Enfold us in your arms, Lord. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we might reflect your light within this dark world, and that we speak your word with boldness or any shame. Draw others to your feet, Lord. We ask this through your beloved and holy Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, please loosen my tongue today to speak the truth to our audience. Please give me the courage, today and always, to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. On this live broadcast, guys, we will have the opportunity to investigate the many spelling disasters, i.e. differences in the Hafs recitation of the Quran. The Hafs and only the Hafs, guys. Why? Because that's the most used recitation in the Islamic world today. Last but not least, when I finish my teaching, we'll have a nice Q&A session with our guests in the live chat about Islam or dimension topic. In other words, you can ask me questions about today's teaching and I will try to answer as far as I can. Hopefully, we'll have also Muslims who will call us live and will have a nice and respectful discussion with us. Like I said, God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for your support. God bless you and God bless your families. Let us start. Guys, unfortunately, I have really some sad news for you because our lovely Muslim apologist, Mr. Muhammad Hijab, chose not to, to debate Christian Prince. We didn't see that coming, right, guys? <laughs> he chose for Majid Nawaz or whatever this guy is. Yeah, we already have one dislike, so that means we have Muslims with us who might call us to die on our live show. So, Muhammad Hijab, what a shocking news that he would uh, not debate Christian Prince, right? Shocking, right? <laughs> I mean, who is this Majid Nawaz? A Muslim reform, reformer who is doing taqiyya? Last time we checked, Islam cannot be reformed. Islam cannot innovate. It is bid'ah to do innovation in Islam. So what's, what's the point in debating Mr. Majid Nawaz or whatever this reformer is? Anyway, uh, hopefully... One day, Muhammad Hijab is, will not do taqiyya and he will step up, debate Christian Prince or maybe me if he's too coward to debate our dear brother in Christ, Christian Prince. So let us start our actual live show. And as I mentioned, today's topic is the Hafs Quran and the spelling disasters. We'll go through some spelling disasters. We will share them with you and 
Muslims should, should from now on say there is no Quran, there's only the disaster called the recitation of Hafs. It is <laughs> there are disaster called the recitation of Hafs, right? We showed, we showed you earlier, guys, in an earlier live show that Ibrahim or Abraham, as we call him, in Surah Al Baqarah. Chapter 2 of the Quran, it is written with no E, like this. So here there's no E. But in the rest of the chapters, guys, it is written with an E. So only one chapter has the name of Abraham like this, but the rest of the 113 chapters have the name of Ibrahim with an E, as you see. You see the difference here, guys? You see the differences? Okay. So we'll continue doing that and will give you more disasters in the Quran right so I hope you have your pen out and some paper to write some notes take notes guys so here's another example guys that we showed you earlier Sahir a magician or a wizard in chapter 51 of the Quran ayah 39 it is written like this without an alif Right? But in chapter 51, 52, same chapter, couple verses later, it's written with an alif like this. Sahir. Do you see it? With an alif. Here without, here with an alif. Now Muslims, if there are Muslims listening, if Allah is truly God as he claims to be, if Allah of the Quran is truly the God that he claims to be, can God make such mistakes? Can he change his mind all the time like this? Is it this one or is it this one? Is it with an alif or is it without an alif? Pick and choose, Allah. Make up your mind, Allah. So if, if you um, don't have a pen or paper, you should make screenshots, guys. Make screenshots and share them with Muslims in your debates. Today, guys, uh, we will change it a little bit. For the people who just joined in, we'll change it a little bit. Maybe you saw the name of Zakaria Butros. Let me put that name. Maybe you have heard of this very famous Christian Coptic priest who is doing a lot of damage to Islam. Uh, and he has his own satellite TV channel in the Arabic section. So basically all the muslim who speak arabic have access to that tv channel and they can watch and even call live in but live on tv guys so he's, he has his own tv channel and this guy has like 60 million if i'm not mistaken around 60 million dollars on his head so if a muslim capture him or kill him and present his head on a silver platter he'll receive 60 million dollars uh, from the Muslim world so we will have him basically as a guest <laughs> and he will confirm to with us the many examples that we will provide to you today so let us start guys let us actually start here you see our brother dear brother Zakaria Butrus, the Christian Coptic priest, Zakaria Butrus. And this is his uh, TV channel, basically. Al Fadi, that's what his TV channel is called, Al Fadi. So let me play the video. Let me put on my headset. And we will go together through some disasters in the Hafs Quran guys the Hafs Quran so I'll try to uh, translate during the, the video okay I will try to translate what he says and I'll, then I will show you examples what he's talking about let us start so he's talking here about chapter 1 of the Quran and specifically about the Bism. You see, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. Now he's going to discuss 
how the Quran got it wrong in the very first ayah of chapter 1. Yes, immediately in the beginning of the Quran, there are already disasters in the Arabic words, in the Arabic spelling of the words. So let me continue and then I will give you further details about what he says. He says that the name or the word Bism is written very badly, uh, totally wrong. So it's basically written in the Quran as it is now very wrong. Let me continue. So the correct way is Bism. How? Let me show you how, guys. So as I said, guys, it is false to write Bism like this. Why? Because there is an alif missing. As you see here, there is an alif missing. And we're going to show you from the Quran itself a couple of examples how <laughs> Allah chose to write Bism like this. And then in, <laughs> in chapter 69, 52, let me change the screen a little bit. He chose to write in chapter 6952 to put an alif. You see, here's no alif. Here is an alif. It's the same word, Allah. You claim to be Allah. You claim to be God of the Quran. You claim to be God of Islam. You claim to be God of Muhammad. How can you choose, let's say in chapter 1, ayah 1, to write be ism like this and then in chapter 69 52 to write it like this now let us go to the quran to prove it to you guys as you see here this is chapter 69 from this chapter al haqqa from ayah 52 you see it ayah 52 be ism with an alif do you see it do you see it guys but in chapter 1, Al-Fatiha, it's written like this. Do you see it? Without an alif. So Allah, why did you choose to write it here without an alif? And why did you choose to write it with an alif here? Do you see it, guys? This is chapter 69, ayah 52. Make, make screenshot, guys. And this is, for example, chapter 1, ayah 1. Written like this. Do you see the differences, guys? So if Allah claims to be God, can God in Islam, can God of Islam pick and choose what he wants to do? Is it possible for a God to write? <laughs> it's the same word, right? Either it's this one or it's this one. But we know this is the false one and this is the right one. So Allah made a huge disaster in basically all the chapters of the Quran because they start with this right <laughs> like this if you go to any chapter let's say chapter 2 again same mistake do you see it? chapter 3 same mistake but here it's written the right way do you see it it's chapter 69 ayah 52 so basically in every chapter every beginning of every chapter Allah made a huge huge mistake Exactly, Tamara. The conclusion is the Quran has been tampered with with human hands, right? Is the Quran from Allah or humans? Certainly, God cannot make mistakes. If Muslims claim, if Muslims claim that the Quran is directly given from God, in this case, their Allah, right? Muslims, your Allah cannot have a cake and eat it too. How is it possible for the same word to be written differently? That's not possible. So clearly the proof here that we can conclude, the proof is in front of us that the Quran has been changed by Muslim hands during the centuries. And the proof is in front of you. This is a direct example, guys, for Bism. So it's not Bism. There's nothing called Bism. It's Bism. Did you catch it, guys? Did you catch it? So this is example number one. Chapter 69, I have 52. Write it down, guys. 
69.52. Let us continue to what our lovely friend Zakaria Zekar Butros has to say more. Another mistake. Ar-Rahman. He says, we, the second uh, example that we can show you is from the same, same chapter. Let me go there. Let me go there. Chapter 1, Ayah 1. Chapter 1, Ayah 1. So, Al-Rahman is written again the wrong way. This is false. Here, an alif is missing. You know, what they did, actually, they wrote this thing here on top. Right? This one, this small alif, is actually not a real alif. This one is still ba a baby. It's not fully grown yet. It didn't have his vegetable and vitamins to fully grow. Right? To become like this one. <laughs> like this one. So they put here, as you see, guys, they put here, this small thing here that you see here, is not fully grown yet. They put it here on top, you know, and maybe when it become bigger, right? When it uh, fully grown, it will become and look like this because that this is the way with an actual elif, the way to write it correctly. So hopefully the elif will grow and it will become a big human basically like a big human and will have a big elf like this so in chapter quran 1 1 it is written wrong this is the right way to write ar rahman because here it says ar rahman you heard the brother right here it says ar rahman but this is the correct way to write al rahman with an elif. Do you see it? This is the missing elif here. So, let us continue. So, it has been changed by this guy and this guy and, you know, till we can see clearly that the Quran has been tempered with, with human hands. Let us go to a another example. So he says, we, all, we are just started with chapter one in the beginning of the Quran and the problems are already basically start to appear. This is the first chapter, the first ayah. The guy is, is shocked, right? What more problems can we find in Al-Fatiha? The second problem. Okay. In the same chapter, guys, in the same chapter, we're still in the same chapter. We can find... So this is the same chapter, right? Chapter 1 we can find still mistakes in Al-Alameen, right? So, and, the, and I will show you also the deception, guys. This is the same chapter, right? Quran.com write Al-Alameen like this, here with an alif, right? Here with an, without an alif, sorry, here without an alif, but QuranWow.com is hiding it and writes it with an alif. Do you see? So the Quran.com is putting this small alif here. It's actually not a real alif. This small alif that you see here, that is not fully grown yet. <laughs> it didn't eat its vitamins yet. So, and they are doing taqiyya on QuranWow.com. Let me prove it to you guys. This is same Fatiha, right? Same chapter 1. Ayah 2, so we are still in, this, in the beginning of the Quran, guys. Actually, the next verse, the next ayah, you can see the not fully grown elephant. So it says, 
Al Alameen, right? Al Alameen. But it's not the way they pronounce it. Listen. Al Alameen. Al Alameen. But if we go to Quran, wow.com, guys, let me give you both links to, for you to see so you can check it out yourselves. Let me give you the links. This is QuranWow.com and this is Quran.com. Two very famous chapters, right guys? Uh, uh, famous websites. So here it is written with Taqiyah, right? And here without Taqiyah, you see? <laughs> here without an Alif, an actual Alif, and here with an Alif, this Alif. Do you see it guys? You see the taqiyah guys? You see the taqiyah here? Do you see it? So they had this, the guy of this website of QuranWow.com, he had to use taqiyah and put the alif here. This is still the Hafs Quran guys. This is the Hafs Quran that we're talking about. The Hafs recitation of the Quran. The number one used version of the Quran, right? Is it haram to play with the Quran with your own hands, Muslims? Yes, this is all in the first chapter. We are still in chapter one. Do you see it? This is Al-Fatiha. So we started with this and we just, we, we, we are still in the same chapter. <laughs> Speaking from Kaif, Hira, Hira, Hira. Allah, we are still in the same chapter and we are in the next verse. And we found a couple disasters already, already, already. So, which one is it, Muslims? And why are you using deception? Why are you using taqiyya on different websites? Huh? Do you have any shame playing with the Quran of Allah like this? So if you, if you have a Quran at your house, guys, you will find it like this. So, you know, to hide... To hide the disaster, guys, they had to play with the Quran with their own hands. As you see here, Muslims are correcting the Quran of Allah with their own hands. You see? It's in front of you. Cheating. Yes, exactly. God bless you two guys who just joined. I know this is very dry material. You know, to fully understand it, you need to know Arabic. But you can see the differences already, right, guys? So this is not an alif, right? They put it, you know, this is nothing. This is empty stuff that you see here. So they have to put stuff here, else it will be al-alameen. Right? Without an alif, al-alameen. Right? So, as you see, guys, they have to use taqiyya to hide the disasters here with an alif here without an alif right let us continue guys let us continue let me put back my headset on okay <laughs> we're still in the same chapter guys According to our brother here, according to our brother here, Zakaria Butros, in the same chapter, right? Same chapter, right? Same chapter. Chapter 1, Ayah 4, chapter 1, Ayah 4, you see it is written like this. Malik, 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 right? This is same chapter, Ayah 4. But here, or Quran, wow.com, it's written like this. Ma, with an alif. You see here's the alif missing. Do you see it, guys? So basically three things here. Here, a little separation with an alif. Here is the alif missing and it's connected. Do you see it? Same ayah. So again, Muslims are correcting the Quran of Allah with their own hands. And we are still talking about the Hafs recitation, guys. The Hafs recitation, right? The Hafs recitation. You see? This is Quran.com. 
I have four. Right? Without an elif, right? Without an elif, here with an elif. Do you see it? This is QuranWow.com. Let me give you the links. So you can say Rob Christian is lying. This is Quran.com and the other one was QuranWow.com. Do you see it? So Muslims, why are you playing with the Quran of Allah? And we are still in the same chapter. We are still in the beginning of the Quran, guys. Lord of mercy. <laughs> this is still the same chapter. Muslims recite the curses of Allah from this chapter 17 times a day. They recite this same chapter 70 times at least every day. So they recite the Quran of Allah that has disasters from the very beginning of the Quran. Right? And some websites have to hide the spelling disasters that Allah created in the Quran. Right? Again, let me show you. Malik with an alif. Do you see it? This is the word. Malik. Malik. Without an alif. Malik. Same Hafs Quran. Here, Malik. Malik. With an alif. Without an alif. Do you see it? So, again, can we conclude that the Quran from, is from Allah or from humans? Who created the Quran? Is it directly from Allah or is it created from, by humans? Is the Quran been played with during the centuries? The conclusion is yes, because we are already spanking the Quran of Allah. And Muslims dare to say not one letter has been changed, not one dot has been changed. You liars, you deceivers. Yeah. Well, Tamara, your brother. Sister Tomara, God bless you. Your brother needs a wake-up call. You need to show him this video. Stop lying, Rob Christian. How am I lying? It's on the screen. <laughs> lying, Rob Christian. Someone has made an, uh, a fake account calling himself Lying Rob Christian. Stop lying, Rob Christian. Well, the proof is in front of you, Abdul. Malik. Malik. Which one is correct? Stop lying! You're finished, Rob Christian! Rob Christian speaking from Crave Hero! You're finished! Muhammad Hijab! You're finished! You're finished! Rob Christian? Yeah, right. <laughs> Guys, let us continue the video of our dear brother, Zechariah Botrus. On the mistake in the Quran. The, the word Imra'a, the word Imra'a, that means the wife or uh, basically the lady, let's say the lady, right? Let us continue, guys. In, in the classical Arabic, we understand that Imra'a, a, a woman, is written like this with a T, Marbuta, close T, as you see here on the screen. You see it? It's a closed T, right? Closed T. But let's see what the Quran is. Uh, how, what the Quran says. <laughs> okay, he says. But the Quran. So the Quran wrote it like this. In Surah Ali Amran 35, he says. <laughs> So let us give you the example from the Quran, guys. So we're talking about the word Imra'a, right? We're talking about the word Imra'a. The wife from chapter 28, ayah 9, the wife of Pharaoh, right? The wife of Pharaoh. It is written here with a T maftuha, right? A open T. Do you see it, guys? Open T. But in a different chapter of the Quran, it's written 
This is the word, same word, <laughs> but a closed T. So Allah, we should ask Allah. Allah, Allah, Allah. Which one is the correct one? Is it with a closed T or with an open T? Uh-oh. Uh oh, I mean, you 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 are hearing, you are listening to another Christian Arabic speaker, and this guy is an expert. I don't claim to be an expert in Arabic, guys, and I will never do, right? But our dear brother Zakaria Botros is actually an expert, right? And he's mentioning the disasters, right? And he's confirming what we are showing you on the screen, right, guys? So this here, the same word. But with an open T, here with a closed T, right? Do you see it? <laughs> Which one is correct, Muslims? If you claim that Allah is God and you say the Quran is directly from Allah that you call God, can Allah make such mistakes? Huh? Can Allah make such mistakes? You will say no. That means we have to conclude that the Quran of Allah was not protected by Allah. It has been tampered with. It has been played with with Muslim hands during the many centuries. Right? And only the truth and only the truth will set you free Muslims. Today is today to accept that your Hafs Quran. We're not talking about Qalun. Forget about Qalun. Forget about Warsh. Forget about Duri and right? etc etc we're talking about the Hafs Quran that you will have in your houses Muslims this is the house right this is Quran.com this is QuranWow.com that we are talking about right are you dare to say we are liars <laughs> you see from a different chapter guys now chapter 4 ayah 28 here the same word Right, same word, but closed T. Do you see it? The last letter, it's closed. Here it's also closed, but here in chapter 28, ayah 9, Al Qasas, chapter Al Qasas, ayah 9, it's written with an open T. Do you see it, guys? Here, closed T, here, as the brother mentioned, with an open T. Right? Let us continue the video. We're going to show you many, many examples today like these. The wife of Amran. Close to That's the right one, he says. The right one is with closed T, right? This is wrong. So Allah was wrong here. As we showed you. Surat Al-Qasas, Ayah 9. Imra'at with open T, you see? False. This is false. In the Quran, he's asking the, the audience who are watching, he's asking the Muslims, Muslims, is there a word in the Arabic language? Classical Arabic is, can you write it with an open T? No, because you will fail your Arabic exams if you write it with an open T, right? Oh, sorry guys. Like this. If you write it like this, you will fail your exam. Right? So the Quran here, the writer of the Quran, failed miserably right you cannot have a cake muslims and eat it too because here it's written with a closed t and this is the correct way to write the word a woman or a wife right do you see it so which one is correct this one is wrong so we can put a big red cross on this ayah chapter 28 ayah 9 and here, here is written correctly in Surah An Nisa, chapter An Nisa, the women, right? And here, chapter 4, I 128, it's written correctly. This is correctly, this is not correctly, right? 
So Muslims, you cannot have a cake and eat it too. Let us continue the video, guys. Is there any, any word, he's, he's asking to the Muslims, is there any word that you can write like this one? Is it possible to write it with an open T? Certainly not. You will fail. How? And can, can God make such mistakes? He says, God should be complete, people. God is complete. He should understand everything. Can he make such mistakes? <laughs> How can he write things wrong? And in the Quran, to understand, open your minds. What are you, what are you actually believing in, Muslims? He's asking. What are you believing in? Open your eyes. What are you listening to? All right. Many mistakes. The word na'ma. It says na'ma is always written with a closed T, right? T marbuta, closed T. The word na'ma, right? Let me show you from the Quran once again. Uh, sorry, let me go to it. Yeah, this is the word. So here, as you see, na'ma, right? Favor or grace. Here, it's open with an open T, as you see on the screen. Open T. And here, the same word. This is false. Here, with a closed T. Also in, found in the Quran. So, which one is correct, Allah? Which one is correct, Muslims? Can you say that this is from God? This is Quran. And let us give you the examples. So, here, it is wrong. Here is correct. Let me give you the examples. This is the word. Chapter 5, Ayah 7. Take notes, guys. Chapter 5, Ayah 7. Let me give you the links. So you cannot call me and our brother, Zakaria Butros, liars. Don't you dare to call us liars. Shame on you. And here the same word, but with an open T. This one is false. Chapter 2, Surat Al-Baqarah, Ayah 231. Let me give you this link too. Uh oh. Muslims. Can Allah make such mistakes? Spelling mistakes, Allah? Can Allah make such spelling mistakes? This is the same word. This is with a closed T. Right? Do you see it? This is the closed T. This is an open T. Right? As the screen says so this is the way the correct way to write it favor or grace right a favor or grace here it's open as we showed you from the quran did you catch it so we should send allah back to school guys we should send allah back to school and teach him correct the correct way to spell Arabic words. And we should ask him to stop changing his mind all the time. Allah, you cannot claim to be God and you cannot claim that you are protecting the Quran from mistakes. Well, we can find so many mistakes already, right? So many mistakes. How many mistakes have we already shown you guys? I already, I already lost count. <laughs> and we just started yet, guys. Right? You see it? Allah knows best. <laughs> Someone is saying Allah knows best. Right? Here again. From a chapter 5, ayah 7. Close T. You see it? Here. Open T. Close T. Same word. Open T. You see it? So. Chapter 2, ch chapter 2 is written wrong and chapter 5 is written correctly, right? As we showed you here. So, <clears throat> let us continue the video. The 
نعمة نعمة ربك فيفر اوف الله وجت في سورة البقرة آية 26 It's also in 26, the correct way, right? You see it? These are the ayahs. So this is the, uh, the way to correctly write it, right? As we showed you. This is the correct way, he says. Closed. Closed teeth. Here it's correct written. See it? This is the word. Closed. Closed T. T marbuta. He says, perfect. Good. This is good, he says. But now, but now, he says, watch. Now Allah is wrong again. Can he make his mind? See? As we showed you. See? He's confirming what I'm saying, guys. With an open T, you see? نعمت الله. نعمت بالتيل مفتوحة. تيل مفتوحة. في برضو حاجة اسمها نعمت بالتيل مفتوحة في اللغة. He's asking, is there something called نعمت with an open T? Muslims, if you know Arabic, you will sh you will sh say no, because you will fail your exam if you if you write it with an open T, right? With an open T, right? Like. This one, right? So this is the way to correctly write it. And this is the wrong way. Do you see it? Let us continue. And are you, he's, he's, he's saying, is, this is God? This is God? He's, he's pointing up above, right? Is this God who wrote these mistakes? <laughs> is, is this God who is writing these mistakes in the Quran? You claim to be... To be God, Allah. Yeah, guys, I know this is very dry material, and I'm really trying to translate what he's saying, right? Are you still uh, following, or is this is too much, guys? Tell me. Is this too much, or, or are you actually enjoying this? Should we continue? All right. Three people are saying we should continue. Okay, fourth one, too. All right, all right. Let us continue. Can God make mistakes? Can, can, can uh, Allah not know uh, the difference between the closed T and the open T? <laughs> then he changes his mind again. What's this? What is this? Is this God? Disasters, disasters, disasters. The Quran is disaster. Again, from Surat Ali Amran, again, for written mistakenly, with an open T. See it? Here's the word. With an open T. Surat Ali Amran, Ayah 103. He's saying, I'm giving you many examples. So, right? He's saying, I'm giving you many examples, so you cannot say, you Muslims cannot say, you are lying. Rob Christian, you are lying. Zechariah Butrus, you're lying, right? You're finished. You're finished. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Abdul Halig, Lord have mercy, my friend. What can we do? Allah is basically like a child in a candy store, right? One time he write it with an Na'amata with a close T. That's the way, correct way to write it. And then he changed his mind and he write it wrongly with an open T, right? More examples, he says. Surat Al-Ma'idah, Ayah 11. Again, written wrongly. Mistake. Right? See it? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He's asking, isn't it Allah who wrote this Quran? Isn't it Allah who wrote these words? Once he write it with closed, then with open tea. What's that? <laughs> How is it possible to, to be this Na'mata? From Surat Ibrahim. 
Ayah 34, again, see it? Open T. You see, this is how, how they write it so in a beautiful way, right? Again, you see it? Oh, he says everything is mistake in the Quran. All of it is a mistake. And another example. Chapter 8, Ayah 72. Surah An-Nahl. The grace of Allah, the favor of Allah, with open tea again. Right? The grace of Allah, the favor of Allah. He says, this is not just one mistake. These are many ayats that have these mistakes. Wow. Guys, don't we always say to you, guys, are you with me? Don't we always say to you that 90% of the Muslims, they have no clue about these mistakes. They have no clue about these mistakes. You see how important it is to know Arabic, guys? Right? Do you see how important it is to know Arabic to find these mistakes? This is why I, I took Zakaria Butros today with me on this trip because he is confirming and I'm confirming what he's saying. So he's confirming for me and I'm confirming for him. So we have two Arabic speakers basically who are confirming the mistakes. I am showing them on the screen, right? Right? We showed you the, oh, the woman. Here we're showing you Na'mata written with a closed T. Here with an open T, right? Let us continue the video. Surah Tanahal, Ayah 83. Again, written mistake. Written with a mistake. Spelling. He says, We are not the ones who are writing this. This is Quran. Allah. He says, My friend, I mean, my uncle, <laughs> you know, this, this is. Uh, many uh, many times used word in Arabic. He says, "My friend, come on, man. It should be written with a closed T, not with an open T. But why we see so many mistakes in the Quran? <laughs> open T, yeah. and more. He says more example. Surah An Nahl, Ayah one hundred and forty. Again with open T. This is the rest. They call this resim, right? Uthmani Quran, as they claim it. Uh, to be. He says the people who are listening now and watching to see the mistakes, and you still want to be be, be a Muslim in this man-made code? Think with me here. This is this is these are words of Allah. These are words of God. Can God make such mistakes? Thank you for the donation, guys. God bless you. God bless your families. And more. He's not finished. Surah Luqman, Ayah 31. Open tea. You see it? See it? Again, written mistake. Wow. Is this clear? More examples. <laughs> he says, I'm, I'm not stopping till I completely wipe it out, basically kill it. He's killing the Quran. All right. Surah Fatr, chapter Fatr, Ayah 3. Again, what opened to you? This is the Uthmanic Quran, as they claim it to be. Right? Here, you see it? Open T. You see it, guys? He's, he's saying, you know, I feel sorry for the for the director of the, you know, the program because I'm showing so many examples, you know? <laughs> Poor director that needs to show everything on the screen, right? <laughs> to show so many mistakes. He says, my heart is with him, right? With the director, but we have to do this. Too many ayahs to show, he says. Too many mistakes to show. 
ويكبرها ميك ات بيك تو فور زوم ان زوم اوت عين الباشا سو ايفريبادي كان سي بس طبعا انا ملتمس لهم العذر سو هي سيز اي ريلي جيف ذيم ا هيوج ثينك تو دو ربنا بيوقع نظري عليها على طول نعمة ربنا يو نو ذا تروث ماست بي تول ربنا بالتالي مربوط هيز هيز ميكينج فان هي سيز هوبفولي ذا جريس اوف جاد ويل يو نو will be shining on us today but with uh, an open tea <laughs> as as it's written mistakenly in the quran <laughs> anyway surah at-tur surah at-tur ayah 29 look how many times the so called allah the islamic moon idol the islamic god is making the same mistake over and over. how many examples guys How many examples is our brother Zakaria Budrus is giving you on the screen? Same mistake over and over and over and over and and you Muslims dare to say the Quran is from God? <laughs> you see, this is the so-called Uthmanic Quran. Ah. Ah. Wow. Tell us something, he says. You know, you Muslims, tell us something, man. He says the imams are hiding. They are running. Let them defend this. Nothing. No, no response. And he says, a new most respectful reader of the Quran. So he's still addressing the Muslims. Are you not seeing this? I mean, your shayukh, your imams, they are silent, right? They are silent about this. What I, why are they not teaching the Muslims about these mistakes? Right? Right. يا خبر ابيض الكتاب غلط بدخلنا في الشغل البشري بقى ما تقولوش بقى القران موحى لفظا ومعنى تبقوا كذابين ما ورطه This is a huge problem he says all right all right وماذا عن الخطا في استئجاء كلمه رحمه الله اه What about the word Rahmatullah? Rahmatullah. What about Rahmatullah? Rabbuna. Mm. He doesn't know with close T the same word, right? Let us show you guys. Uh, this is the word. This is the word now he's talking about, right, guys? Let me open a better screen or make it better for you to see. This is the word Rahmata, basically, you know, the same way, the same huge disaster. Chapter 2 here, as you see, Ayah 218, here with an open T and here with a closed T from chapter 3 as example, Ayah 8. Do you see it? Do you see it? Right? So Allah, which one is correct? Only one can be correct, not both. Right? Let us continue. I mean, we are confirming what the, what our dear brother, priest Zakaria Butros is saying, right? <laughs> it happened with me. He says, you know. <laughs> he says when I went to school, <laughs> guys, they are making jokes, right? He says when I went to school and I started to learn Arabic, I wrote it in a mistake way, right? I, re I wrote it wrongly, right? <laughs> and, and the teacher gave me enough for writing it like this. <laughs> he, gave, he gave him enough. <laughs> he says, a student writes it something, sometimes like this and sometimes like this. You know? Yeah. You see, uh, they can make mistakes, right? 
He says, a student, students, to be sure, you know, to have at least one, one correct, you write it both to, you know, you remember when you went to exams, you put an, a cross on the C's, right, guys? On the C, because most of the time, maybe the answer could be the C. So, you know, so basically the same story. In the exam, he writes Rahma like that, and the other way with, with closed, and the other one with open to it. Right. Now he's going to show you. Like this. This is the correct way as we showed you. In 75 ayahs, guys, as you see here, 75 ayahs, it is written with a close T. T marbuta, right? Like Surah Al-Baqarah. Both ayahs. In Surah Ali Umran, 807, 157, 559. Etc. 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 It continues, right? With the close T, right? He says, right? خلاص. Okay? Right? All right. One example. He says, I need one example. The correct way. Now he's going to show you the correct way. Surah Ali Umran, Ayah 8. Written correctly. Right. Here, you see? Written correctly with the close. It's good. He said, This is good. This is right way. But let's see. Now it's written wrongly, he says. With open T. This is wrong. Like in Surah Al Baqarah, Ayat 1 and 18. You see? Allah. Clo the first one was correct with close. This is written wrongly. You see? Open T. You see? Surah Al Baqarah, Ayat 218. Surah Al Araf, 56. See, again written wrongly. Mistake. You see how, how insane this is, guys. This is disaster upon disaster. Again. Rahmata. Surah Al-Hud, Ayah 73. Rahma again. Rahmat Allah with open tea. Now he's showing it to you in the so-called Uthmanic Quran. See it? Tee marbuta, tee maftuha. Surat al-Rum, 50. Surat al-Rum, the Romans, Ayah 50. Rahmat. Rahmat Allah. Wahiyat bin Rasma min al-Quran wal-Mus'ha. You see, he is from the Mus'haf. From the recitation of Hafs. This is Hafs, guys. Remember, this, we're still from the Hafs. <laughs> this is, you know, written another word we're written differently, but anyway, two mistakes at the same time. You see, when you keep reading, you will see many. You see, guys, what you're trying to explain here, if you are still with me, guys, I know this is really difficult for non Arabic speaking people, right? But as you see, Muslims, they are so proud. They say, we memorize the Quran by heart. We have memorized the Quran for 1400 years by heart. But why are they not telling you about these huge mistakes? Ah, they don't teach you that, right? Right, they don't teach you that. Right, they don't teach you that. Keep memorizing, guys. Surah <laughs> Al-Zukhruf, 32. Surah Al-Zukhruf, 32. 32. You see again, mistaken, but open T. Last one. 
ربك اجين ايش هي المفتوح طاي اوكي ميسس طيب وهكذا كارثه وهكذا ديس ديزاستر ديزاستر عن الخطا في حذف الالف من بعض الكلمات what about the elf in some words the missing a in some words all right مثلا ذلك الكتاب مرسوم هكذا ذلك الكتب look at this guys شوفها اهي الف لام ميم no this is the word this is the the book right the book زي الرحمن الكتاب See, Aleph is always missing, guys. Not the small one that needs to grow. <laughs> it, see it, guys? This one I mentioned earlier, right? You see it? Abraham with an E. Or sorry, with an Aleph and with an E. Here, Abram, Abram, Ibrahim. Do you see it? Aleph missing. E missing. Do you see it? Here the alif, no alif. Here with an e, here without an e. Do you see it? Wow! Right? Wow! How can you make such mistake? Let me go. You see? Rob Christian did not lie. See it? Right? I even didn't mention this one. You know, because you can clearly see the e missing. Right, guys? Let me change the screen. You see the E missing as we mentioned, right? Here with an E, here without an E. This is a name, guys. Here, this is written like Brum, Brum. This is Ibrahim, Brum, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Ibrahim. Muslims, you could dare to say this is a book from God. You always said not one letter has changed, not one dot has changed. You liars, wake up. So, the name of Abraham is written in the entire chapter of Al-Baqarah with an E, without an E, sorry, and the rest of the 113 chapters it is written with an E, right? As our brother Zakaria Butros is showing you on the screen. You see? Ibrahim here, with an E, and small E, uh, Elif, right? ماشي وفي نسخة تانية هير <coughs> سورة البقرة 124 سورة البقرة 125 إبراهيم إبراهيم without an E you see إبراهيم إبراهيم is it إبراهيم or إبراهيم which one is correct what is this he says what all these mistakes man في امتحان موضوع إنشاء he says, you know, if you're going to do a test, when a student write all these mistakes, will he, will he pass? Will he pass the test? Will he pass his exam as a student? <laughs> Look how he's laughing. <laughs> Guys, I really need to drink something, man. Let us drink on the healthy mistakes of Allah and his Quran, guys. Muslims wake up. Right? Wake up, Muslims. Wake up! For the last 1400 years, you claim that this is the Quran from God. And you claim that the Quran is not changed. Well, clearly, we're showing you that the Quran of Allah has been tampered with. It has been changed during the many centuries. Wake up! Leave this cult, man! This man-made cult that has been lying to your faces, Muslims. If you are sincere with yourself, don't be sincere with me. Be sincere with yourself. You have to leave this man-made cult called Islam. And please come back home to Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Wake up. It's, this is a wake-up call, Muslims. This is a wake-up call. You are not going to sell it to me that the so-called book of Allah is from God because God cannot make such huge mistakes. He cannot make such mistakes. 
Well, fish bones, the second one, Ibrahim is the correct one, right? Muslims say. It's Ibrahim. There's nothing called Abram. Abram? What's Abram? It's Ibrahim. Right? Let us continue. He says, well, will the student pass? He says, of course not. The student will fail his exam. It failed. The student is failed. He needs to retake his exam. Right? He says, Allah of Muhammad, <laughs> the Allah of Muhammad is a failed student. Allah failed his exam in the Arabic language and even the spelling in the mistakes of the spellings of words. I'm, I'm wrong guys, I'm wrong, right? The so-called father of Aaron and Moses, right? Let me type it in, Imran as they call him. Even that word is written wrong in the Quran. Here it is written with an alif. You see it? Umran. But here it's written like this. Umran. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I made a screenshot. Yes, here guys. Do you see it? Let me make it better for you to see. You see? So, chapter 3, 33, it's written like this. You see it? Like, so basically, Imran, Imran, you see it? Imran, like this, Imran. But the correct way to write Imran is with an alif. Do you see it? Like this, Imran. Here it's Imran. Here, the correct way is Imran. So Allah, you can not even spell the name of the father of Moses and Aaron the correct way. Do you like this, guys? So Allah failed his exam in the Arabic language again. Allah got himself an F. Did you catch it? And to show you from the Quran itself, so you cannot call us lies. I'm confirming what Brother Zakaria Butrus is telling you. Imran, do you see chapter 3, three ayah 33? Chapter 3, so, Surah Ali Amran, chapter Ali Amran, ayah 33. Imran with an alif. Do you see it? You see the alif, right? The alif here. This is correct. This is the correct way. But look what is happening here. Uh oh. Uh oh, 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 oh. What? Same chapter. Same ayah. Uh oh, oh. We found a deception, guys. Wow. Guys, guys, guys. Do you see what is happening here? The guy on this website, QuranWow.com, is hiding. He is hiding. He's using taqiyya. You see, he put an alif here. Well, QuranWow.com has no alif. Oh, oh, you see, no alif. This is not a real alif. They just put this, th this thing. There's not even a letter in Arabic, guys. Right? So, QuranWow.com wrote it like this. They put a small thing here, you know, that is not fully grown yet. It didn't eat his spinach yet, right? This tiny thing here, they put it here on top. This is not an elif. It's not, uh, it didn't eat his vitamins yet to grow, right? But this guy made already, you know, he gave it too many vitamins, too many spinach, too much spinach to grow, and it became a full elif suddenly. So they are playing, till today guys, they are playing with the Quran. Till today they are using taqiyya, using deception, so that you will, when you know Arabic, you will be lied to. Yeah, where, are, where is Allah with his birds, man? Where is the bird army of Allah? They are cleaning the poo, -poo of Allah, exactly, Rath Prophet, exactly, right? This is the Quran, the, the Uthmanic Quran according to the Muslims. Here without an alif, right? Here they are using taqiyya for suddenly it has a big alif. <laughs> we found a nice deception taqiyya. Taqiyya 101 guys. Taqiyya 101. You see how when they lie to you they say, uh, Rob Christian, we can only use taqiyya in war. We can use taqiyya with our women, right? But clearly not. Why are you using taqiyya in the Quran, my friend? When you write the Quran, when you put the Quran online, why? 
You filthy liars, you filthy deceive. You have no honor, you have no shame. Shame on you with playing with the Quran of Allah. You're playing with the Quran of Allah, man. Bloody liar, exactly, Fibit. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, my friend. You see it? So what's, what is, guys, if you can play with the Quran of Allah, what is else is left? Exactly, Sophia. What else is left? Uh, damage on top of damage, damage on top of damage. Let us continue and listen to our dear brother Zakaria Butters, who is confirming what he's saying, and I'm confirming what he's saying. He's confirming what I'm saying, and he's, I'm confirming what he's saying. He's my help today, and I'm helping him. So we got okay. Ali Amran. Amran. This is correct. Oh. Here, it's not Ibrahim. Amran. Here is Amran. You see, guys? With this small thing that is not fully grown yet. <laughs> it didn't eat its vitamins yet. The bones are still growing, right? It needs more vitamin D to become like this one, right? To become a fully grown elf. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Taqiyya, taqiyya, taqiyya. See it? You see how it's... How it, this is the correct way to write an alif. Not like this. You see? So when you... He says when... You know, when you're going to look for mistakes in the Quran, you will not finish. You need many days to find all the mistakes. And we are showing you only a couple of them, right? We are not showing you many. We are showing you a couple. This is... A small percentage, guys, of the the huge amount of disasters in the Quran. Just these are only a couple of examples, right? He's, you know, my friend, come on, man. He says, come on. How is this possible, man? Yeah, with a small L. No. What about Suleiman? Solomon, guys. What about Solomon? What about Solomon? Uh oh. What about him, Rob Christian? Well, we can find it written like this. Right? With an elif here. You see the elif in the end? Here. And without an elif. Uh oh. Rob Christian, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right? I'm sure. Let me see if I can show you an example. Yes, here. Guys, look with me here. This is Suleiman, right? The, the same guy that has the power over the jinns. And he has a huge army on his flying carpet, right? The same guy. Here, as you see, it's written without an elif. Do you see it? But the correct way is with an elif. Do you see it? Do you see it, guys? So here it's basically like this. Suleiman. Suleiman. This is Suleiman with an alif, right? Here alif, here without. Do you see it? Do you see it? What does this guy say? Look at this Taqiyya boy. Chapter 21, guys. Surat Al-Anbiya. Ayah 79. With an alif. Do you see? Here is the alif. Fully grown. It ate its vitamins. You see it? But. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. This is with the taqiyya. This is without. Same chapter, same ayah. Do you see it, guys? Same chapter, same ayah. 79. 79. Here without taqiyya. Only with the small. Right? Elif. Yeah, this is the elif, right? And this is with taqiyya. Fully grown elif. <laughs> taqiyya on top of taqiyya. Disaster upon disaster. Muslims, come on, man. You cannot have a cake and eat it too, Muslims. You cannot hide these mistakes with taqiyya from us. Right? Fully grown elif. Here. A baby elif. Let us call it a baby, you know, it's, it has his diapers on, right? 
the diapers are still on, it's not fully grown. Right? This is, is this a book of God or is this a fart of God, guys? I mean, come on, you, can, you cannot take yourself seriously when you're saying this is a book from God. Come on. You cannot fool anyone. Maybe you're fooling yourselves, Muslims. Maybe you're still f uh, falling for the yellow pages of Allah, right? The yellow pages of Muhammad. Because this is a man-made book. And you dare to say that the Quran has no mistakes in it? No, this is halves, guys. No, 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 no. This is still the halves, not different versions. Don't make that mistake, guys. Who was the one who says, uh, Christian for Christ, my friend, Christian for Christ. Are you with me, my friend? This is halves. This is the number one used Quran in the world. No, 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 no. This is not, we're, today we're not talking about different versions. This is the same halves. Forget about the Warsh. Forget about the Duri. We don't, we didn't even go there. This is the Hafs Quran. Right? We are talking about the spelling disasters in the Hafs Quran. Bam! Exactly. Speaking from Kif, Hira, Allah, Allah, Allah. Why are you failing your Arabic spelling exam? Exam, exam. We should ask Allah to go back to school, guys. What do you think? House disasters. I mean, come on. It's in front of you, right? <laughs> ah, Lord of mercy, guys. What about other mistakes? So we, we showed you Suleiman, right? Here it's Suleiman. Here it's Suleiman, right? What about different Examples. Let us show you more examples. Guys, let us show you more examples. Let us go to the YouTube video. You see? You see with an elif. That is the right way, he says. That's in the Namel, chapter in Namel. What about Haman? What about Haman? Haman, guys, remember Haman who uh, basically was uh, working for Pharaoh, for Pharaoh? Uh, in the Quran, you know, we let us not go too much off topic, but Pharaoh is asking Haman, Haman, in, according to the Quran, to build him a huge tower. This is a historical disaster, so that's basically off topic, because Haman was a Persian and Pharaoh was in Egypt. <laughs> Different times, historical disaster. So that's a historical disaster, right? Haman lived in Persia. Pharaoh lived in Egypt, different times, different places. But forget about it. Let it go, Muslims. Let it go, Muslims. Let it go. Let it go. That's not the problem here. The problem is here how it's written. Haman with an alif. Haman. Haman. What? Rob Christian? Yeah. Haman. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. Haman. Haman. Lord of mercy. <laughs> Those not fully grown ones yet. The elves that are not fully grown yet. You see those guys? <laughs> what about Ishaq? Isaac. Guys, Isaac. What about is Isaac? Ishaq. Without an elf. Ishaq, Ishaq, Isaac, Ishaq, Aleph, you see the Aleph? Without an Aleph, baby Aleph here, you see? It's not a letter, man, it's a baby, it's not fully grown yet. It keeps need to get his vitamin D to grow, to become like this one. So which one is correct, Muslims? Uh-oh, 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 can Allah make such mistakes, Muslims? I mean, these are names, man. Can you write a name in d two different ways? No way possible. In no way, shape, or form, you can write a man's name in different two ways. It's not possible. This is a book from God, right, Muslims? This is a book from God. 
Allah cannot make these kind of mistakes in his holy, so-called holy book. <coughs> right? Aha! We found another mistake. وهب لي على الكبر إسماعيل وإسحق إسحق <تصفيق> بالألف المزعورة <تصفيق> وفي نسخة تانية بإسحق صح oh. في القرآن. You play with the Quran You play with the Musahif You're playing You're changing Changing uh, Replacing <تصفيق> Correcting <تصفيق> Are you correct He's saying زكريا بطرس is saying Are you trying to correct Allah Muslims Are you trying to correct Allah Muslims Well, uh, Jao Karimo, Jao Karimo, we don't care. They try to fix. They, they are fixing, right? When the, let me go back. My friend, the, the problem is here. This is a book of Allah. You cannot have a cake and eat it too. This is a book of Allah. These are names, right? Can Allah... Write a name in two different ways. No way, shape or form. That's not possible. And what about the vowels, Rob Christian? Well, the vowels started to appear in the light, late 9th and 10th century, beginning of the 10th century, right? There was nothing called vowels. There was nothing called dots. So let us remove the vowels. Let us remove the dots. Do you see all the dots? See everything here on top, vowels, right? The dots. Underneath, you see it? Right? So let us remove about it. Still you have a problem. How is it sounding the same? How are you going to make it sound sane if you have no vowels and dots? So Mr. Jao Karimo, don't fall for their taqiyah, my friend. I mean, some Muslims will fall for the taqiyah, as we showed you. When they go to Quran.com, they fell for the taqiyah. When they go to Quran.com, the guy of QuranWow.com is using taqiyah to them. You cannot have a cake and eat it. We are not falling for these bad deceptions. Right? You're playing with the Quran. You're playing with the Quran. Changing, replacing. Right? Correct, correcting, changing and correcting Allah's words. What about Ismail? Ismail, Ismail, guys. Right? Ismail. Small elif, not fully grown. Here, Ismail is with a fully grown elif. <laughs> this book of God, guys. Can God make mistakes of in names? In a different mushaf, right? They are playing with Allah's words. What about ayat? Verses. A sign, basically, right? Ayat is a sign. It's a sign. An ayah, guys, of the Quran is a sign from Allah, right? Here, with an alif, right? Here, without an alif. This baby grown alif that was put much later, right? Because when you ask a Muslim, when was the Quran given to Muhammad? Let's say in the 6th, 7th century, right? But these things here on top started to appear much later, two centuries later, right? So they started to play with the Quran to fix the Quran of Allah, right? To make it sound similar. To make it, yes, you heard it correctly, to make it sound similar. They are fixing the Quranic disasters. They are fixing the disasters that Allah and Muhammad gave to them, right? <laughs> In Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Baqarah, Right? See, without an elif. Eight. 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 Ayat. Eight. Without an elif. It sounds, without the vowels, right? It sounds like eight or ayat. Which one is correct? Is it eight or ayat? Muslims will say ayat. So this is correct. This is not correct. This is still Quran. Halves. Alif <laughs> Mazura. Ayatihi, his his ayat, the ayat of Allah, his ayat. Ayatihi, alif, without an alif again. Do you see it? This is Surah Al-Baqarah, right? Again from Surah Al-Baqarah, but 
couple verses before, couple ayahs before, it's written differently. Same chapter, guys. This is Surah Al-Baqarah. Do you see it? Surah Al-Baqarah. Same chapter. Allah is making a mistake in the same chapter. Huh? Muslims. Allah can make a mistake in the same chapter. Are you called as God? You see? This is this is really strange, he says. Alright, here Alif. Yeah, the small baby Alif, you see? They are trying to fix it. <laughs> he's, he's talking about a guy who will call. Right? He's, he's basically calling up, of talking about an Aramaic speaker who, who is call, calling himself Yusuf. He always calls on the live show of our brother uh, Zakaria Butras. You know, he's an Aramaic, Aramaic speaking Christian and he can, <laughs> he can talk hours about how Muhammad literally stole words from the Aramaic language. Right? Many Aramaic words are found in the Quran. Right? That's what he's talking about. Ghafil. 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 والالف المزعوره الوارثين الوراثين اهي see another word you said الوارثين الوارثين you said here with an actual alif here with a baby alif fixing the quran of allah do you see it الوارثين with and without without an alif here with a fully grown alif do you see it صح I think, guys, I think here the God of Aisha, she entered and she ate the elif here and left only a small part of the elif. Do you see it? They are stuck with the, a baby elif here. The, the goat did not reach yet. Do you see it? The God of Aisha, man. She's dangerous goat, man. Dangerous goat of Aisha. Always that goat, man. Somebody, someone find that goat. Khatiin. Khatiin. You see? Again, the elf missing. That goat, man, is dangerous, man. Keeping eating the ayahs of Allah. Especially the elf. Delicious, man. I mean, if I was a goat, I kid you not, guys, I would done the same. I mean, those pages of Allah look delicious, man. You see, again. Nasihun. 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 Na sihun nasihun again a missing alif you see it here here's the example from the quran look how many disasters how many i really guys i really lost count i can i you know i'm i'm lost so many mistakes this is the correct way this is another mistake he didn't mention yet, but anyway. Taurat also different <laughs> mistake. Look how many mistakes just in one eye, guys. He, did, he said, you know, we didn't look too much into it, but here is a mistake, here is a mistake, and this is the actual word, you see it? See it? Here, Aleph. Here, no Aleph. Baby, baby Aleph. Always that baby Aleph to make, to fix Allah's mistakes. Too many corruptions. Yes, exactly, Xeltra. <laughs> he says, if I'm going to correct the Quran of Allah, I will, you know, <laughs> I'll make it perfect, he says. It's, the Quran is basically not perfect yet. I need to make it perfect, he says, if I'm fixing all the mistakes. <laughs> You see, no elf here. Missing elf again, Muslims with their own hands fixing the Quran of Allah. Here is the elf, here without. You see, they're trying to fix it with a baby elf. This is not a letter, guys. 
don't forget, this is not an actual letter. This is fixing, right? Fixing the Allah's mistakes. Lord of mercy. <laughs> he calls us the Alif Mazura. He says he's asking the Al Azhar University in Cairo, Egypt, to fix the problems, man. Fix it for us. I mean, why are you keeping the mistakes in the Quran? Man? Fix it. But when we ask those Imams in Al Azhar University, guys, they will answer, Do you want us to fix a thing that is not fixed for the last 1400 years? That's basically the answer. They do not dare to change and correct the mistakes that are in the Quran. They don't, there is no one who dares to fix it because you know what will happen, right? They will butcher him. Are you going to fix what is already been reading like this for the last 1400 years? Are you trying to fix it? No way, man. Don't touch the Quran of Allah. <laughs> Leave it with the mistakes. <laughs> big, big elf, baby elf. Zalimin, <laughs> Zalimin, 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 another word. You see, Azalimin. Look, guys, at this. It's the same word, right? Again. You see it? Here is without an alif. Here, this is the alif. Do you see the alif here? So basically, here, it's not separated because the alif is not is missing here. So you can write it as what well, you know, like this. Here, when you have put have to put the alif in between, this is the correct way, right? You have you cannot make it sep uh, without separation, right? Basically. Because when you put the alif, you get the separation here. Here, without an alif, you can write it like this. Do you see it? Missing alif. Al-layl. The night. No alif. Alil. The night. Guys, al-layl became alil. This is a night. <laughs> can you write? I mean, when you write the night like this, let's say in English, guys, can I, let's say, can I write it like this and say it's correct without an E, for example? I will fail my test, right? I will fail my exam. Here, the night is written like this. Look, this is the night, a layl. This is the correct way. The night, a layl. Guys, this is one of the basic words in Arabic. I mean, when you're going to say it's night, I'm going to go sleep. This is the way to, to write it correctly. Let's see what Zakaria Butras is going to say. You see? You see? Without an alif. Alil. Alil. This is Alil. This is Alil. 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 It's laughing. <laughs> fixing with fixing they are fixing with vowels and he says it's uh, he's asking uh, the people who are listening or watching are you telling me Allah uh, didn't speak Arabic he could not speak or re read or write Arabic he didn't know Arabic Allah of the Quran that doesn't not know how to write the night Allah does not know how to write night Muslims in his so-called holy book this is the so-called uncorrupted book of Allah and Allah does not know how to write layl night the correct way Lord have mercy guys and you and you dare to call this a book of God this is the yellow pages of Muhammad and nobody else because Muhammad is a false prophet, this is why his book is containing so many mistakes. And Allah is illiterate, up will go. This is, this, is what, this is basically the topic of today. We need to send Allah back to school if you claim this is God. All right. Allah, you know, I think uh, his right hand, when he was writing the Quran, one of his fingers was bleeding, was hurting him. 
Allah, when he created the pen and started to write the Quran, one of his fingers was hurting, guys. So this is why he made those mistakes. Right? He, said, he says, when a student, guys, when a student at school, when he writes the word night, diff, like this, will we, will we say it's okay, my, my beloved student? It's okay, you can write it wrong. Or will he fail his exam? Eh? If you are a teacher, Muslims, let's say one of you is a teacher. Would you allow a student to write the night like that and letting him pass his exam certainly not so why are you allowing Allah to go away with this with these mistakes I see one mother is Thamani and Thamani 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 Elif Thamani Sahai is another word <laughs> written wrongly, but anyway, let it go, let it go. Here, see, uh, fixing it with a baby elif, not fully grown yet. It still needs to get his vitamin D to fully grow. The bones needs to grow. So you know they're fixing it with this baby elif. Well, in another area, it's like this. Guys, I think, you know, you, have, you get the idea, right, guys? We can go all night, all night long from Cave Hira. All night, 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 long, long, long. Like Lion Richie would have said, all night long, showing you all these mistakes. All night long. But you know, you get the picture, you get the idea, right, guys? You right, Muslims? How long are we live, guys? How long are we showing you the mistakes of Allah in the Quran? One hour, 38 minutes. Wow, so long already. You know, enough said, right, guys? Yeah, it's Zakir's. Night without uh, an elif. <laughs> a leel and a leil. <laughs> that was the funniest word, to be honest with you. I mean, it's one of the basic words. Night, man. You can't even write the night correctly, Allah. This is too embarrassing, guys. Exactly. You see, and we are, we are not dying. Look, the video is... You know, <laughs> it's not even the half. Not a mess. Where do you know? And there are hundreds of mistakes like these. You will need a couple of days to find all these mistakes. Maybe at least a week if you are going to fully commit to find all the mistakes. But these are only a couple of examples, guys, right? All night long with Allah who cannot write the night the correct way. Failing his Arabic exams. The Quran is beyond the eye, Peter is saying. How dare you to say that about Allah's book, man, Peter? How dare you, man? <laughs> and we showed you guys, right? We showed you how even in the same ayahs, right? Even in the same ayahs, let me... I'm trying to find... Right? I'm trying to show you the deception, right? Again, just for the people who just joined. You see, this is chapter 3, ayah 33, right? Chapter 3 from Surah Ali Amran, ayah 33. If you go to Quran.com, let me give you the link. To hide the mistakes, the owner of this website, to cite it in the same ayah, right? 3, 33, 3, 33, two different websites here using deception using taqiyya to hide the mistake on quran.com right here without an elif they put this baby elif to fix the mistake of allah 
But here, this Abdul on QuranWow.com using Taqiyya. Let me give you the link. Using Taqiyya, using deception. Putting a fully grown elf. Do you see it? Same ayah, man. Do you have any shame, Muslims? When you play with Allah's Quran to hide the mistakes from the people. Chapter 3, ayah 33. Chapter 3, ayah 33. You see the deception. Deception 101. All night long. No shame, no dignity. Playing with the Quran of Allah to hide the mistakes. Amran. Imran, 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 right? With an alif, without an alif. So same chapter, right? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hey, Archers, God bless you, my friend. Good to see you here on board. Guys, are you enjoying today's live show? This is basically part two, right? We made a, an earlier live show about these mistakes, but here we added our brother Zachariah Butros in the mix. In the mix, wicked, 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 right? <laughs> Let it burn, burn this Quran, man. This is clearly not the book of God. Burn it, man. It's not even worthy, God forbid, it's not even worthy to be a book of God. Muslims, you need to wake up. Guys, it's really important for everybody here. Don't be lazy. Download, if you don't want to upload this whole video, download it, guys. After YouTube is done processing, it will take at least 45 minutes, right? You know how YouTube works by now. So you have to wait, download it, cut parts that you like, and upload it on your YouTube accounts, on social media, to show the Muslims. This is the Hafs Quran, right, guys? Show them. Help a victim out of this cult, man. Is the Quran from Allah or humans? Clearly from humans. Today we proved it. Right? Help me to help you. Right? Help at least one Muslim. If you can help one Muslim out of this cult, there will be a huge celebration in paradise, right? Maybe then he will be open for the gospel, for the real truth. Right? Goat forbid. <laughs> you know, you see, the, the goat of Aisha was really busy, man. You see it? The goat of Aisha was really busy. Slayman with an elif, here without an elif. You see it? Sulayman. 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 Where is the elif missing? The goat of Aisha was busy eating all these elifs. Right? He's, that goat, man, I, I kid you not, that goat is so dangerous, man. It really made its mission to eat the eyes of Allah. I kid you not, it's, it's dangerous. The CIA is still working on it, right? Let it burn. Do you like my voice the right way? <laughs> No, man, you don't want to hear me sing, man. All the mirrors in your eyes will break, man. Don't even put the volume higher. All the mirrors will break. You don't want to hear me loud, man, singing. <clears throat> yeah, 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 you see? All the prophets, you know... They claim that Suleiman is a prophet. Well, I mean, can Allah not even write the name of Suleiman? The, the guy who had power of all, all the jinn. He had, he was king of kings in his time, right? He had uh, this <laughs> ring, right? To control the jinns, to control the army birds. He had a bird of army. He had uh, a huge army sitting on the flying carpet. And Allah cannot write his name correctly in the Quran. What's that, man? What? What's wrong with Allah, man? This is the Sulaiman that we're talking about. Right? Abraham, Allah cannot write his name the correct way. Right? He, he with an E, he without, you see? With, without, right? 
let's forget about the baby elf for four this time. You know, let it go, guys. Hey, Lula, you need to rewatch today's live show if you just joined. Good, good morning to you too. But you need to rewatch it. I think we did a huge damage today again. No, no, Gideon, Gideon. This is not. We forget about the English, man. This is the house Arabic. We are talking only about the Arabic. Forget about the English. I didn't even mention English today. Right? So Gideon, if you want to see the huge damage that we did done today, rewatch today's video. It will take around maybe an hour, let's say, for YouTube to process the whole live show and the live chat. You can also rewatch the live chat, right? But you need to give it time. So guys, if you like our teaching, help me to help you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share my YouTube channel with your friends and on social media, on Twitter. Do what you have to do. Subscribe and like this video. Smash that like button and also click on the notification bell to receive notification when we go live like this. Right? Help me to help you. Help a brother out to help these poor victims. These poor victims that we call Muslims today in 2019, almost 2020, have to stay blind. They are staying blind, memorizing the Quran, going through the whole 114 chapters without any clue. This is why we always say these people are deaf and blind. I mean, even a kid can memorize an entire chapter, let's say. But does a kid know what he's reading? Does he see the, the, the mistakes? No. Right? You have to read it and find the, the mistakes with an open mind, with a clear mind, without the camel urine and the seven hajwa and whatnot. Right? Muslims, please drop Muhammad and his yellow pages that you call the Quran of Allah. Because clearly, if you claim Allah is God, can, God cannot make such mistakes. And you dare to say that this book is uncorrupted. Today, we showed you that the Quran is tampered with, with human hands, written by humans with so many mistakes. Right? And Allah was silent, right? Allowing these disasters in the Hafs Quran to happen. Please drop Muhammad. Please come back home to Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Do you have any Muslim? Is there any Muslim who wants to call us live? Hello? Is there any Muslim? Give me one if you're there and you want to call us. Are we out of Muslims again today? What's that, man? Yeah, guys, actually, as you see, the internet is the biggest enemy of Islam. Hajuj, <laughs> Hajuj. Yeah, Phoebe, uh, about that, you know, that's off topic, but Hajuj, uh, Hajuj are basically a zombie like nation that was put behind a huge wall. No one found that wall. I mean, where's that wall? Where's that huge wall that is hiding the Hajuj and Mahajuj people, you know? And there is this uh, Yasser Qadi and his friends who claim that these people are actually not real people. They must be zombies. They must be really dangerous people, right? Where are these people? Where is, where, where's the wall? Can you find the wall? Is that the wall of China? <laughs> Guys, I had my compu other computer on. Let me open up my Skype on this computer. <clears throat> call me back. We were this guy who called me. Let's see who this guy is. Let me try to call him back. Let's see. Pick up the phone, man. Come on, Mr. Magic Man. This is the guy. Who oh. 
is not online. Why? You just called me and you suddenly you're not online anymore. Pick up, man. Pick up. Yeah, I hope it's not ultimate fart. Big. Oh, actually, I hope it is him because I'm going to spank him again. Let me accept this first. Yalla, yeah, magic. See, these people are wasting my time, man. Calling in and then. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Finally, you called me back. Let's see. يا الو يا اهل الكتاب لا get lost kid kids man see he was playing about uh, an eye about the people of the book yeah right <laughs> you don't even know our real name we are not nasara right muhammad had no clue who real Christians were, guys. He called us Nasara, but we are not Nasara. We are Messiahiyin. Messiahiyun. That's what we are. And a Messiahi. I'm not a Nasrani. Yeah, ISIS at work, exactly. When they cannot silence you, refute you with the truth, they have to refute you with mocking and uh, trolling, right? Well, it is what it is. We have to deal with these kids. Let your dad or your mom call me, man. Yeah, that was a really short conversation, Ayer Church. Well, these are the Muslims of 2019, almost 2020. Childish cult, yeah. When you cannot refute Rob Christian or Christian Prince or Sam Shimon or David Wood, you have to, you know, troll, you know, to, you know, waste our time. Stop sending us kids, ya shiyukh, ya ustaz, ya imam. Stop sending me kids. Call me you yourself. Why are you silent? We know you're watching. Our videos are reaching the corners of Asia, man. Our videos are reaching Indonesia. Our videos are reaching Saudi Arabia. Our videos are reaching America, Europe. Why are you pretending to be silent? I know you are watching our videos. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, shiyukh, we know, we know. Silent fi sabil Allah and his Quranic mistakes, right? India, we have a guy from India. You see? Rob, you're finished, Rob, you're finished. You're finished, yeah. That, that's what Muhammad Hijab said. You're finished. <laughs> And in the meantime, guys, we showed you that Muhammad Hijab didn't pick Christian Prince. He wants to avoid Christian Prince. Why, Mr. Muhammad Hijab? You see, I went through the comment section, guys. Look, this is, this is his message. So he wants, I firmly challenge Majid Nawaz. I mean, what is this? What is this taqiyya? guy you want to debate and we know you are the true muslim hero and he's a fake bid'ah muslim right who wants to reform islam we know he's a fake we, you are the true one right you are the true is isis salafi muslim mr muhammad hijab and look at these people look f mawan saying christian prince is your best opponent here i will be satisfied if you debate with christian prince Please debate Christian Prince. Debate Christian Prince. Just call Christian Prince. Who wants to see Muhammad Hijab debating Majid Nawaz? Who is this Majid Nawaz, man? Fake Muslim, man. You want to debate a fake Muslim? Or you want to debate Christian Prince who is doing huge damage like me? Day in, day out. He's finished. <laughs> You see this guy, Muhammad Hijab, st stop running away from Christian Prince. Ha <laughs> coward. Debates. You know, I mean, you see, it was an inside job, guys. I kid you not. It was an inside job. Muhammad Hijab never wanted to dare to debate Christian Prince. He knows what will happen to him. CP will knock him out in the first round. Look, everyone is asking for Christian Prince. Well, who is this? Majid Nawaz, yeah, you're a coward. You're a coward, Muhammad Hijab. 
You coward. I say it for everybody to see. You're a coward. Elijah means God with us. Allah prays for, not to Muhammad. But it's not for Mr. Muhammad Hijabi, a Arabic expert. It's on. It's not for, it's not to, it's on. Allah wa malaikatu yusalluna ala nabi. Ala. Not for, not on, uh, not to. On. So you're trying to teach David Wood, teaching him Arabic during that debate, but you failed miserably. Unfortunately. Right? <sighs> Bankrupt people, man. Bankrupt people. They are in afraid for yeah for four thousand years for four thousand years he said that's what he said right for four thousand years let me go to that uh what i'm trying to point at chapter nine that's what he was talking about basically uh what did he say again about the 4,000 years, guys? What did he say about the 4,000 years? Can you remind me again? What did he say about the 4,000 years? I know it was about this chapter. Oh, yeah. For 4,000 years, guys, Muhammad Hijab said this. He said, for 4,000 years, For 4,000 years, no Jew associated something like this, right? Anyone with Allah, right? Something like this. That's what Muhammad Hijab said, right? But according to your Quran, Mr. Muhammad Hijab, in Surah at tawbah chapter 9, the Jews said, the Jews say, وَقَالْتِ Yahud. The Jews said, Ezra... There's nothing called Ezra, by the way, guys. It's Uzair, right? Uzair is Allah's son. And you dare to say that the Jews, according to your Quran, the Jews are saying, you know, the Quran is lying about the Jews. The, Quran, the Jews never heard of the name Uzair. <laughs> There's nothing called Uzair. But your Quran is claiming that the Jews said it. So who are you to say it? Spanked on top of, spanked. Mr. Muhammad, for 4,000 years, no Jew said it. Yeah, right. So are you calling your Quran, the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, a lie, Mr. Muhammad Hijab? And you Muslims want to follow this guy? <laughs> for 4,000 years. Who's Uzair, man? We never heard. The Jews have never heard of Uzair. The Christians have never heard of Uzair. Who's Uzair? Right? The Jews said Uzair is the Allah's son. The Jews never believed in Allah. And certainly they never heard of Uzair. Ya Asal. Ihal Masib as Soda. Ya Khabar Abiyad. Right? Would, would Mr. Hijab said it? Because he's an Egyptian, he would have said it. Ya Khabar Abiyad. <clears throat> I think we are out of Muslims, guys. What can we do? It is what it is. They, yeah, they can't do anything right, man. These are the Muslim heroes of 2019. I don't know, Red Prophet. You tell me. Have you heard, ever, have you heard before the Quran? Have you ever heard of Uzair? We, I didn't. Have you heard? I didn't. A Jew did not. A Jew never believed in Allah. He believes in Elohim. He believes in Jehovah. Who is Allah, man? <laughs> Not a mercy. Do we have a Muslim? Do we have a Muslim? Mayday, mayday. Hundred and seventeen people watching, and no Muslim dares to call me. That's a shame. Well, guys, I think we'll wrap this up for today. Like I asked you before, please subscribe, smash that like button, and click on the notification bell to receive notifications. 
Today we showed you the many spelling mistakes in the Quran, right? Please download our videos, share them around. God bless you and your families. Thank you for your support, guys. Please don't be lazy, Christians. Download our videos. I know you like our brother Christian Prince. But download our videos too, right? May, I know Christian Prince don't, doesn't like to bring up grammatical mistakes like these, right guys? Because he, he thinks it's a waste of time because 90% of the Muslims don't know Arabic. But we need to do this too, right guys? If the Christian Prince doesn't want to do it, I can do it. We can do it, right? We have to cover all the topics, guys, including this one. God bless you too, guys. God bless your families. Preach. Keep preaching. But for Muslims, it's a different story, guys. From the 15 years, almost 15 years that I'm doing this, guys, I came to learn that Muslims are not open for the gospel if you don't break Islam. You don't break the Islamic wall around them. And the Quran, for example, is an Islamic wall. When you break it into pieces like we did today, when you destroy it and humiliate it, then, maybe then, they will be open for the gospel. Muslims are a different kind of breed, unfortunately. Right? We have to break that Islamic wall, the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad. We have to break Muhammad and all his Allah, his man-made Allah. Then maybe then, they will be open. Brick by brick. Exactly, Frau. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you for your support. Lord willing, we will see each other in another live show. I think we did huge damage again today. Thanks to the Lord. Muslims, please stay away from Islam. Drop Muhammad. Drop the yellow pages of Muhammad, the Quran. And please come back home to Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Islam is fake scam. The Quran is a garbage book. Today we proved it for everybody to see. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. God bless your families. Lord willingly, we will see each other again very soon. God bless.